Hello everyone. Welcome to my video. What we'll be discussing today is the install of Lumbutu, which is a lightweight operating system that you can install on most older machines. I'd say around five to ten years old um, as of today, 2021, uh, August 7th. So let's go ahead and begin. Just so everyone knows, I will be installing this machine in a virtual environment using Oracle VirtualBox. However, if you choose to install this on a physical hard metal machine, you can do that as well. Um, you'll just either need a CD or DVD or a USB uh, to uh, put your operating system on. So. Let's go ahead and get started, and we'll go ahead and do that. So we will go ahead and hit the Start button, and then click on Switch. And this will go ahead and start our install. Let's see here. It says, Halt, there is no system. All right. Give me a moment. We're going to click OK to click out of that. Then we're going to go to Storage. Go to Empty. We are going to go ahead and choose our image file that we want to install. That's going to be right here, Lumbutu 20.04. Highlight it. Press Open. Press OK, and then click on Start again, switch, and this time it should load up, and there we go. So, we have 26 seconds. We will go ahead and press Enter for our, well, if you want to stop the, the, um, the countdown, you click up or down. And you, this will be the first page. You choose your language. For us, it's going to be English. And then we go ahead and press Enter. And then we come right here to where it says, what do we want to do? We want to start Lumbutu, or we want to start it in safe graphics, or test the memory, or boot from a hard disk. For us, since this is beginning and we have not installed it yet, we want to go ahead and choose Start. Lumbutu and press enter on our keyboard. Now, just so you know, on my keyboard, I am pressing the down arrow and the up arrow. I choose the option I want and then I press enter on the keyboard. All right, and then from there, it's going to start installing Lumbutu. It did a system check of the hard drive, it found no issues. I found a few issues, but not nothing that'll stop us from installing Lumbutu. Okay, and we have it up. It's just that fast. Let's see, LXQT Power Management. You are running LXQT Power Management for the first time. You can configure it from, from settings. We're not going to do that right now. We're just going to X out of that or exit out of that. So this right here is Lumbutu, and we're basically booting it up from a live CD. Um, as you can see, this right here is computer, or this whole thing is your desktop. And then these are the folders that it has right here. And as you can see, this is uh, simulating a live CD, right? So what we want to do, or you have several options. Number one, if you want to just check it out virtually, you can do that. And you can go into the individual files and folders and menus from here, right? Like this icon here that says computer, that's basically a folder. You can double click it and it'll open up. And since this is a virtual machine, it shows our virtual uh, CD-ROM and then our virtual hard drive, and then our file system. And then over here, you'll see the different folders that it has. And then we can go ahead and close that. 
Then we can open up Lumbutu folder or directory and that shows basically the same thing. Over here on the left hand side of the pane it shows our different folders. Over here on the right side it shows our folders again. And then we can go ahead and close out of that. And then of course we got our network and our trash. And then if we want to, if we come down here to our bottom panel here, in some operating systems, this is known as the notification bar or the task bar, whatever you want to call it. Um, if, you, if you know the official term, go ahead and put it down in the comments. Um, in either case, that's not going to stop us from the, functional, from the functionality of Lumbutu. Uh, if you want to get to other uh, applications, what you can do is you can come down here. This is the uh, menu, and you can left-click it, and that will bring up other applications. We have accessories. We have education, games, graphics, internet. Office Suite, which for, for this is LibreOffice. And let's see, for sound and video, you have K3B, which is a uh, CD, DVD burner. And let's see, this is a very popular, popular media player, VLC. And then let's see, we have System Tools, Preferences, and you can go to about uh, LXQT, which is the desktop environment for Lumbutu. And then, of course, if you want to leave or reboot the system, you can come down to leave, do either a logout, reboot, hibernate, leave, or shut down or suspend. You can also lock your screen. All right, and that's pretty much how it's going to look once we do the installation. So from here, we're going to go ahead and do the installation and install Lumbutu on our virtual uh, machine. All right, to install it, you can either double click on install Lumbutu or you can right click and choose open. And then here comes the welcome screen. And from here, you choose your language again. And for us, we're going to choose American English, and then we're going to go next. Then it's going to ask for our location. My location is along the eastern seaboard in America. America. So this is the zone I'm going to choose, which is correct for me, New York, next to New York. And then we click next. Choose the default keyboard that you're uh, comfortable with. And then you can also do a little test to see and make sure that the keyboard is working. And then you click Next. All right. And then from here, you need to select your storage, which for us, we allocated 40 gigs of hard drive space for this storage. And then what do you want to do? Do you want to erase the whole the whole storage disk and start with a brand new fresh install or do you want to manually partition and install your operating system for us we want to go ahead and erase the whole thing all right and then we don't want to encrypt the system this is what it currently is after after we install it this is what we're going to have and the bootloader location this is going to be the MBR master boot record. This is where it's going to install it near the beginning of your hard drive. And then we're going to go ahead and click next. And then from here, this is where you go ahead and put in um, your user information. So we're going to go ahead and put in user one. And then it's going to automatically fill in the next two boxes. Then you're going to put in your password, which for us is going to be very, very secret and very, very complicated. It's going to be pass word. 
okay and then we go ahead and click next okay and then this is a summary of what we did and what's gonna happen uh, we chose our location we chose our our keyboard um, and then it's gonna do an automatic partition for us let's see uh, uh, yeah and so then it's gonna do a partition table for us and then once we click on install it's going to automatically go ahead and install all of that for us so we're going to go ahead and click on install then the loop continue with the installation the lubuntu installer is about to make changes to your disk in order to install lubuntu 20.04 lts you will not be able to undo these changes yes we want to go ahead and do the install so I'm gonna go ahead and click install now. And now it's going to install the uh, Lumbutu 20.04 for us. Um, so just to give you a bit, bit of summary about uh, Lumbutu, it's a lightweight operating system. Um, the LTS stands for long-term support. Um, Lumbutu 20.04 came out in April 2020 and you will get long-term support until April 2023 so that means your security updates your your updates for the uh, applications that are installed on here all of that you will get for free um, until April 2023 um, as of today, this is uh, August 7th, 2021, so Lumbutu 20.04 should still be relevant, and um, you should have a few years to go before you have to worry about getting a different or a better operating system. Um, as far as the minimum requirements for Lumbutu 20.04, they don't officially post or have on there what their minimum requirements are um, but Lumbutu was specifically made in the beginning at least it was made for uh, to be used on older and slower um, hardware and uh, uh, computers um, so I'd say at a bare minimum, you can install it on at least a dual core machine. That's a machi machine that has um, two CPUs in it. And I would say four gigs of uh, system memory is a complete minimum. Uh, you could probably do with less, but I wouldn't. I would go with at least four gigs minimum. And at least, I know we have a 40 gig hard drive, but yeah, I'd go at least 40 40 50 even higher if you can I mean it, it it's not too hard to get at least a hundred gig hard drive in um, uh, 2021 but that's what I would do so our installation is done Lubuntu has been installed on our computer so now it says that we can go ahead and restart so go ahead and click on done and then it will reboot So it says, please remove the installation medium and then press enter. So if you're installing this on a physical machine, you would take out your, your CD or your DVD or your USB, and then you would press enter. So what we're gonna do, this is a virtual machine, so we're gonna pretend like we took out our CD, DVD, or USB, and we're gonna press enter. And the system is going to reboot. All right, and there we go. And we have our user name here, and we're going to go ahead and put in our password, which again, please don't tell anybody. My password is password and then it's press enter when you're done and here we go 
this is a similar um, this is a similar background that we looked at earlier and um, it's it's just showing the same thing again so there are upgrades that are available do you want to do do you want to do a system upgrade this video was mainly on how to install Lumbutu we're gonna do an upgrade in or update in the next video so we're gonna go ahead and finish this and we will do the upgrade in the, in the next video so thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it was good for you thank you very much and you have a good day